right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are here, uh, playoff mode at O'Connor's Irish Pub and Grill. And uh, make sure you come here and get some great food. Uh, as my guy G Money is already, he already going to ham right now, Coach. He's getting his work in. <laughs> He's getting that work, work in, in as you gentlemen. can see. You can uh, see it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's the meal of the week. Yeah, oh, powered one. by G for Stoffel. All right, <laughs> now, um, Coach, how your feet feeling? Feet feeling good, but they can always use a little love. Yeah, now, uh, if you need a little love, we're going to go to Dr. Richmond Foot and Ankle Clinic located 1323 West 3rd Street, 228 3668. She will take care of you if you're having any problem with your foot, ankle, or leg. All right, so make sure you, uh, you go there. Special thanks to Dr. Richmond for sponsoring the season for Thank us. You, Doc, appreciate it. Really now, appreciate it. We got a we got a little bit to talk about. And, uh, you know, we got some of your Springfield friends that are here. Yes, Today, um, it's playoff week, Coach, and there's nothing like it. Uh, but first, let's recap what happened last week, all right? Now you guys uh, took on a tough Northmont team. You're at home, but you're able to get the win yes, um, in convincing fashion, and now it moved you up the ladder. Uh, a big win for you guys. You know, you guys are kind of healthy. Talk about the game a little bit for us, Coach. Uh, it was a, for us, it really was a defensive game for both teams. It was The final score was 14-3. to three. Um, defensively we held them to 111 yards it's about 60 more than they should have had but offensively we were able to get a good running game uh, Javen Norman Bebe Bebe put two on the board we rushed for 222 yards I believe it was on 41 carries so we had to establish our running game but our passing game was efficient we only we threw seven passes I think Brent was five out of seven so it was efficient enough to get the job done for us. No question about it. Um, the running game, 222 on him, put, you know, triple twos on him, coach. Um, led by Javon Norman, he went crazy. Um, how does it feel to have a, you know, you've been an aerial attack for so long. How does it feel to go back to the ground and pound? Hey, man, that's what we got his title when I was at Trotwood. We ran the ball <laughs> and uh, kind of bring a little bit of that back this season. We got Coach Mike Page and Mike, Mike Shaw, our running backs coach. They kind of got me on the back on the running game portion of it, and uh, they called the running Wildcats right now. <laughs> the running Wildcats, and uh, it's got a nice little ring to it, and uh, with it comes an, uh, a winning streak yes, as sir. we head into the playoffs. Now, um, when we look at the rest of the G-Walk, uh, Wayne, 32, Centerville, 16. Are you surprised at that, or it felt like, you know, no, it Center, was, it, was you know it was senior night, yeah. and um, they had lost the week before. And they had something to prove to those guys. And so I'm not surprised at all. Um, you're playing at home and you're, your seniors last night at home, you don't know, excuse me, you don't know if you're going to be a, a road team or if you're going to be able to host a game or not. Yeah. And they went out there and, and were down it across the board. No question about it. Doubling up Centerville and knocking them amongst the ranks of the undefeated through the season. It's a gauntlet in the G-Walk, so uh, they take a loss, and it drops them down to the four seed in the bracket. Now, Wayne's the five seed, and you guys went up to the 12 seed. You guys will be taking on Wayne in the first round. Yes, uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Fairmont, 35, Beaver Creek, nothing. Fairmont's in the playoffs. Miamisburg, 21, Springboro, 9. Both teams got in the – Springboro got in the playoffs down south, yeah. even with their record. Does that – is that a testament to the league or just it's the, the new era of, it's, like, the way the tournament is? It's the way the tournaments are running now. You have a lot of people that are that are um, able to get in now with the 16. That's why they got that extra week. Yeah. You know, so it's six rounds now. It's six rounds. And uh, that extra round, hey, anything can happen, Coach, in, that extra, uh, in the first round now. Yes, but sir. that'll give a lot of teams, I think, um, it'll give them the opportunity to Know, to get kind of into the playoff mode, taking on the team. Like, you guys were a, a higher seed last year. Yeah. So, you understand, you know, you didn't really want to play the game last year. But uh, regardless, um, you had to, and you guys came out one, you know, one half away from a state championship. Uh, but let's go to the MVL real quickly. Tip 41, Xenia 14, Butler 7, Stebbin 6, Troy 44, Sydney 7. All three of those teams finished 8 and 1. Um, Troy's got their best record by default. Who do you think goes the farthest in the playoffs? It's hard to tell. Um, they, all of them have good good squads. Good. I would say between Tip and, and Troy, 
Butler coming out, a dream season of sorts Butler's coming, coming, coming out of nowhere. Congratulations, coaches over there. You guys have done a great job this year, man. Congrats to you guys. No, no, no doubt about it. Butler, Aviators did y'all thing this year. And uh, West Carroll to end it on a good note, 26-21. Coach Parker getting his second win of the season. Now, job, Pirates. Uh, when we shift, shift to the GCL, uh, Alter taking out uh, Samana 21 to 14. Alter uh, now on a two game winning streak, seven and three on the season. Um, Shamana finishing at six and four. Which team you think goes farther, coach? Well, I, I picked Alter last week, so. Good pick on that one. I'm gonna stick with it. We're <laughs> gonna stick with the Knights. <laughs> Feels like they have a little bit of better chance. Baden 38, McNicholas 35. Baden's been winning, but they've been squeaking by some teams. That division three is gonna be a well of a of a region uh, yes. when you look at what's coming through that circuit. And then last, Fenwick 42, Carroll, nothing. Finish 2-8 and eight on the season, Greg. G-Money. Right. G-Money, that didn't work G out. You're going to have to come and give him some money. <laughs> <laughs> you got to donate. Get the you got to donate. The now, uh, last but not least, uh, we got our final week uh, in City League. And Dunbar is the reigning city champions. Uh, a big win. Uh, 30, over Ponitz, Trotwood taking out Thurgood Marshall, although Amari Lattimore had a heck of a run in that game. And, I mean, Trotwood taking out Thurgood, and then Meadowdale, 39, Belmont, nothing. So, City League's wrapped up. Dunbar is in, but they're the 16th seed. They take a ma take on a Massey team. Could that be an upset special? Or it's Massey's a tough, tough team. Man. Massey's got a really good system. They yeah. win a triple, and uh, Dunbar's going to be really disciplined on defense. To make take, make sure that they don't their gap sound and their defensive alignments. All right, now uh, let's go back towards the playoffs. Um, you guys are taking on Wayne. I mean, by far the wildest game of the year. Yes, <laughs> I mean by far. Um, yes. And there was a lot of interesting parts that were in that game that will be slightly different this game. What do you? How are you feeling going into this game? We're, we're excited about the matchup. There's a lot of familiarity between the two programs. Yeah. Um, that game was a, it was a really tough game for us as a, as a team. We played four quarterbacks that game. And um, now we finally got Brent back, our number one quarterback. And we're doing a much better job running the ball. So we'll be more balanced, I think, this week. And um, excited for our team, man. Excited yeah. for the matchup. Now, uh, that was <laughs> such a crazy game. A lot of talent on that side. Uh, they're coming off a big win themselves. Uh, but you guys have a healthier team. I I'm sure you feel like your chances are a little bit better than last time, I would say. Yeah, a lot better. <laughs> Plain and simple, a lot better. <laughs> and we won't be nicked up and we won't be <laughs> thinking about if our quarterback can stay in the game or whatnot. Right. And hopefully the officials will call, you know, late hits, <laughs> you know, roughing the passer. Gonna let them know, the officials know. They were getting a couple extra shots in on guys last game, so <clears throat> let's make sure that we call the game correctly. <laughs> we will not be G Walk officials this week, I hope. <laughs> All right. And pure, pure. <laughs> What'd you say, yeah. G Money? Yeah, oh, you want the want Browns, the Browns <laughs> officials? Oh, come on, oh. man. Don't be hating on the Browns. Oh, man. Um, now let's look at some of the other games, Coach. Uh, Olentangy Orange taking on Centerville, uh, number four rank. Fairmont is at Dublin Kaufman, and Miami's is at Delaware Hayes in the re in y'all region. Um, the the G Walk has been so tough. I, would you be surprised? I wouldn't be surprised to see all four of the I know, these be winners be G Walk. To see all four of the G Walk teams uh, advance. Springboro the three that advance. Springboro's taking on Xavier. That's not going to be good That's for them. That's going to be a tough matchup. That's going to be slightly tough. They played each other during the regular season. Yeah, and uh, Xavier was able to win that. Stebbins at Troy. Uh, that's a that's an NBL matchup. Fairborn's at Northmont. Fairborn is the first time they've ever made the playoffs, Coach. Ever. Ever. That's shout out to the shout out to the Skyhawks. Josh Cox. Copeland, man. You know Alex Patton. You guys. You know, it's you know, I know y'all are very happy, so good luck taking on Northmont. Coach Cox. Northmont could be a problem in that division, in that division too, though. Sydney's taking on Harrison, congratulations to Sydney. And Zenia's taking on Lima Senior. That's gonna be a game, coach. Um in division three, uh really you got Trotwood um taking on Oakwood at home. 
And Tip is going to take on Western Brown at home. Vandalia Butler's at home against Elida Salinas, taking on Hillsboro. Shamana take going to Mount Healthy. Mm, that'll be interesting. They have to go on the road now after losing game. that last game. And then Belmont at Wilmington. Dunbar, like I said, Massey and then Urbana taking on Chillicothe. Roger Bacon's at Alter, so Alter gets a home game. Waverly at Springfield Shawnee. Uh, McNicholas at Eaton. Um, and then you got Valley View at home, Waynesville, Brookville, you know, those uh, Springfield, Shawnee, Northeastern, Southeastern. All of these teams are making their moves. It's, it's a lot of teams in the playoffs. Uh, Springfield in the house, baby. Springfield in the house. Last but not least, what is it going to take for you guys to get this W and eight? It's going to be an all-out dogfight. Win the turnover battle. Uh, make sure that we can stay ahead of the chains. Uh, win third downs. Last game against us, third downs killed us. Uh, they made some – don't let them have the impact plays. They had some big plays on us uh, in the passing game, and they had a nice running game. We had two breakdowns in the passing game, and then we let the quarterback run run from 23 yards. Um, we can – take away the impact plays, make them have to drive the length of the field against us. It'll be a tough match. But if we're able to do that and start that, I think we'll be successful. All right, there it is, man. Right, it's here. Um, the energy's crazy. The weather's crazy. Um, but it's time. It's go time. OHSA playoffs starting on Friday. First round action as we got Springfield Wayne uh, going at it. Uh, we'll, that will be a game to see uh, among others. When we come back, we got – couple more of the staff with Coach. We'll talk NFL, college, MLB for a second. Wildcat Waste Series, O'Connor's Irish Pub. Uh, playoff mode. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out Miss Tina. Did you know individuals with diabetes should see a podiatrist every year? Contact Richmond Foot and Ankle Clinic today to schedule your next appointment. Diabetes Dayton is dedicated to the support of individuals living with diabetes. Services include a free diabetic supply pantry, emergency insulin program, free education classes, and much more. If you are living with diabetes or pre-diabetic, contact us today to see which services you qualify for. Until there's a cure, we help you live. All right, what's up? We're here at O'Connor's Irish Pub, uh, Limestone Street. Make sure you come here. Good food, great ambiance. Um, even though you can't park in a lot today, they tripping. But uh, it's always a great place to come. Um, watch, and you can watch the games, too. They, and they support the Springfield Wildcats, no question about it. Uh, so come to O'Connor's, get some food, and uh, support the cause. Now, Coach. We got a couple of your uh, key contributors that's here uh, with you this season. These are some of your riders, man. Go ahead and introduce them. Yes, and, sir. Uh, Let's start off with Coach Mike Page. Coach Mike has been with me for a few years now. I want to say three. Okay. Um, he's my offensive line coach. He played for me at Trotwood. He was an offensive lineman there for us. Yeah. And then the man to my right, Michael Allen Shaw, our running backs coach. Okay. Mike's been with us just this year. But those guys, he's, he's a good running back coach. He's been a great addition to our staff. And uh, both of these guys have done a great job. And we're the running Wildcats right now, baby. Let's running go. Running Wildcats. All right. Um, how's it, you know, as a running back, yeah. you know, you come to the team and it's an aerial attack over the last couple of years. But this year, yeah. quarterback goes down. Yeah. And the team has to kind of switch the engine a little bit. Mm -hmm. How did that make, I mean, as a running back, how does that feel and how's it, how has the change, how's it been for you seeing that the team has changed the offensive sorts? Um, I thought it was, uh, I was actually very excited. Yeah. Um, obviously I'm not excited that the quarterbacks get hurt, but yeah. um, when I came, I thought that we already had a lot of talent at the running back position. Um, and then Coach Mike obviously is doing a tremendous job teaching those guys a really advanced blocking scheme. So when I got here, I thought that our guys not only could run it, but I thought they had the talent to be successful. 
So a uh, quarterback going down actually made it something that we had to get good at. So it got them a lot of reps, a lot of opportunities to get better. Um, it kind of worked out in our favor. So um, it's kind of something that I guess would uh, you know be something that we're happy it happened um, the way it did. No question. Yeah, sure. I mean, super talented coach we hear every week. And coach is like, you know, Upshaw, man, he, you know, he's week to week, but he can't, you know, there was no rhythm. And, and passing is about the rhythm. Uh, we're going to go down here. Um, how how has, you know, you've been, you've seen the aerial attack over the years. What's it like to see you guys winning in the trenches and kind of grinding it out, going back to the Trotwood days, like Coach said? Uh, me personally, it just reminds me of Ohio football. So I just think that's what Ohio football is, running okay. the ball. So now we got the opportunity to do it. I'm excited for it, and I'm ready to keep going. Two-headed monster, Coach. Yes, you got sir. two guys that's really – We really got two, three. Two. We got three because we got, we got this winter back that's about to get popped off. Oh, you got a new running back. You got back. a running back that's got a big a new back. One. So yeah, yeah. you're ready for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sure. I can't wait to see what he does. Too. Now, Wayne game. Is that – I mean, I know y'all been a part of some crazy games. Where does this? Where did that one rank, and what's it gonna take for you guys to come out on the W side this time? The ranking uh, of it, though, was that? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'll start off. It's gonna start okay. off up front with us, with well, my group. As long as we do what we gotta do, get a hat on a hat, it's gonna be a good ball game. Okay. Uh, wild game, right? Yeah. yeah Wildest yeah. game you ever seen? He talking uh, about our first. Oh, game. Oh, you talking about the first game? First game. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a great. It was a great environment. I liked it. Yeah. And, they got it. They got it out. They got it. They got, they got, got it. you on that one. But it was could have went either way, right? right. Could have went either sure. way. Sure. Um, no question about it. I mean, y'all had a player of a, of the year though as well with Brian Scott. I mean, that was incredible too. There was a couple of wild plays. Uh, but bottom line, I mean, you guys gonna have to dominate rushing the ball in order to get it, get the W, or you feel like it'll be more of a balanced game this this game. What do you see with the offense with you guys? I actually want our offense and we try to get them guys to understand that, you know, they're actually a complement to our great defense. So if we can continue to play our game, running the ball, being fundamentally sound, taking care of the football and chewing up some clock, then our defense will be off to be on the field a lot less. So they're fresher. So, you know, we'll we'll complement each other. And and then also we mix in some pass when when we need to and when yeah. it calls for it. And we can put together a, a complete game. I really believe that. All right, there it is, man. You guys two in a row. So the energy's high. You know, it should be a great game Friday night. Um, you ready for the high five, Coach? You high know you got to go get them dogs. You know you got to get them together. Y'all know my dog is right, waiting for me to get to them. All right, let's get to it. Uh, college. Um, Ohio State, Penn State. Ohio State really just shut Penn State down and uh, kind of solidified themselves. Who's the best team in the country right now? <laughs> Georgia. Okay. <laughs> Georgia still at the I'm going with Michigan. You know, what what you think, coach? <laughs> Go with Ohio State. Okay, going with Ohio yeah, State. We'll now all Ohio three of these teams. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with them. Um, <laughs> Prime. Uh, how do you? You've been watching. I know you've been taping a lot of games, Coach. Have you been watching Colorado and what we seeing with them? Been watching now? them a lot. They were they had a bye last week, so there's no new news on them. They just okay. got to continue to improve each and every week. And I think those guys took advantage of this bye week to try to get their bodies fresh and get the mental back. Okay. You know, take a break from the game and not have to worry about the game for a weekend. USC, they're done. Are they toast? Hmm. They got two losses, right? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. You ain't going to get that. There's no way you can win out that. Um, Central State, uh, we'll have to check on them because I know. Oh man, what's up? Some looming. Oh man, um, NFL talk right now. Uh, the Ravens with a dominant display, uh, and now they sit atop the AFC Cent well, AFC North. Coach, who's the best team in that division? You think? Ooh. 
If you got to pick a team, who are you going with, Coach? Got to go with Lamar right now. Yeah. Their defense played really good. Cleveland's defense is playing outstanding. They, they just got to get a consistency at quarterback. But Deshaun being hurt is hard. And I still like Joey Burrow, man. I love I love what the Bengals doing down there offensively. But um, it's going to be tough, man. The Baltimore's tough, man. Um, Bucks and the Bills play tomorrow. Who we got this week? Bucks and the Bills. Bills underwhelmed in the last game. Lost. But they Where's do the that every at? once in a while, right? Where's the game at? It's at Buffalo. <laughs> it's it's Buffalo. a short week. It's Buffalo. It's Buffalo. You can't win at Buffalo. It's hard to go on the road, man, and, get, and pull that off. It's going to be tough. Uh, the Jets at the Giants. That's the back. Well, Ooh. the Giants coming off a of W. And the Jets. Home, home, home. I'm going with the Jets. Jags and the Steelers. Who we got? Jags and the Steelers. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with Coach Tom. No, you going with Tom? We're going with Tom. <laughs> Who you going with? The Jets? Person, so <laughs> <laughs> Eagles, Commanders. Eagles. Cowboys. Rams, Cowboys. Cowboys. Rams, Cowboys. America. <laughs> we are America. I'm a Niners fan. I'll be Cowboys, too. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Coach? Vi- uh, Vikings, Packers. Vikings. Where is it at? It's at Green Bay. I'm a, I would like to see Justin Jordan win the game. I'd like to see Green Bay win, but I think – Minnesota's kind of hot right now. They are, especially after being up. Um, and then you got Texans at the Panthers. You got Browns at the Seahawks. Oh, that's going to be a good game. Browns at the Seahawks. That'll be – Deshaun Watson, what's what's going on with your boy, man? I hope he can go out there and play, man. If their defense comes to play, it'll be a good game. Tommy don't like that. Put him on the bench. Put him on the bench. They keep winning without him. Yeah. You, they, I mean, you keep winning one or two more they without him, the they're going to be like. Run the ball. Yeah. They're to run the ball. If they can do that, they're going to And the chance. defense has just been crazy for sure. The Bengals at the 49ers. Is that what I'm Niners, seeing? Niners, Niners. Ooh-wee. Bengals at the Niners. Huh? Who? Purdy might be out. Purdy. Oh, he's got it. What? They put oh. him on the concussion list. We just gave up Trey Lance. What? Ooh. I'm taking the Bengals. Oh, man. <laughs> they can stop the run. They got to stop the run. Man. Oh, wow. The thing about the 49ers, they can run the rock. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's some, it's some weird games. Chiefs at the Broncos. Broncos will probably play hard in this game. It's a rival game. Route. Route. Uh, Ravens <laughs> and the Cardinals. Ravens, yeah. Chargers and the Bears. I mean, Bears at the Chargers. Bears, they win without fields. Yeah, but, Let's go to Chicago. Yeah, ain't, yeah, ain't nothing, ain't nothing really. Those gotta go with the squad. Yeah, and then the Monday night is no checks, so Bears at the much. squad. <laughs> uh, Monday night Raiders at the Lions. Last game, uh, Lions got smacked. I'm Lions expecting them to. Yeah, Lions, uh, they they better be, come out they like. Be they better come out crazy. Yeah, that, is that is in Detroit. Yeah. Now. You need batteries, bro. He lost his batteries. Uh, but we're going to continue to go because that's what we do here, playoff mode. But it's hey, hey, the hey, start see. of the season, NBA, real quick. Brian already got knocked down and dro- dropped on. I mean, they already crossed him over and hit, hit the jumps. <laughs> that's why he's going to be in the paint. No Brian. Ain't going to be out there. Ain't going to be out there no trying Brian. to cover no little guards no more. <laughs> We ain't, co- we, no, we, we ain't look, coming no little guards no more, man. But Anthony Davis, zero points in the in the second half, coach. Can't uh, have that, man. Can't have that. Is he? Is it? He ain't the one. I like Anthony, but he you got to show up in the second <laughs> half. The man, it's one. NBA, man. You get your check is big, bro. Yeah, you're UK guy, man. Got him a ring and everything. Gonna, go- see, that's that Michigan thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, when he's good, you got to roll with your guys. You got to roll, you gotta roll with him. You got to roll with him. Uh, good luck to the Cavaliers. Good luck to the Pacers. OB Top. Cavs is coming on the night. My yeah, man Connor got Cavs, his jersey they on. on the night. He got his boy, Meek Mitch. Donna, Donna Donna Mitch. Mitchell. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, with those guys this season. We'll be covering them for sure. Cavaliers and the Pacers. Good luck to OB Top and down in, the, in, the, in Nap Town. Uh, they should be able to do some work. Make World Series real quick. Dusty's out. Texans you, in. Dusty.
Thank you, Dusty, for all you did for the game. And Arizona. I mean, that's I know they didn't want that. <laughs> I know they didn't want that. I mean, I know they wanted Philly and Philly and uh, and, and Houston. Yeah, and you, the but they, Houston. I the mean, market. they got the market. It's all the about market. the money. Uh-huh. They got Texas and, but nevertheless, we'll see what happens. Um, who you who you like? I think it stays in Texas. I think Texas has been dominating baseball. Ever since. What do you think? I'm going with Texas. Yeah. I personally don't follow baseball. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Honest opinion. Political answer. I'm gonna go with Arizona. They beat. I don't know. They just. I don't. They yeah, just no, keep they winning all these really games, good, man. man. They, did really look they good. keep. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, um, playoff mode. What's it feel like for you guys, and what's it gonna take to get that dub, man? Me first. Yeah. Yep. I'm excited to be back home for Ohio high school football. It's like Christmas. Um, I think our boys are practicing. We had a really good practice this week, uh, today especially. And it's just going to take all, all three sides, all three, all three phases, special teams, offense and defense, fundamentals, playing physical, and being ready to compete. You know, the physical team and the team who's most disciplined always wins in the playoffs. It won't change today. It won't change this week. I think we pretty much locked in. Uh, I think we just going to complement our defense and come play football. Uh, as long as our running backs have a big game, I think we're going to pull it out, do what we got to do. Coach, just win the turnovers. Win the turnovers, control, control uh, win first and second down, so put us in really manageable third down situations and just win all three phases. Uh, we did a lot, good job on special teams the last couple of weeks and just got to continue to do those things and improve. We had a great week of practice this week, and um, I'm excited about the game. All right. Pleasure to have you on. Social media, where you at? Wildcats. Uh, I don't have a social media. <laughs> I'm just Coach Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Mike, give me your social Same media. Same thing. Just Coach Mike, no social media. Coach Mike. Ma- All right, there it is. <laughs> it's Coach. Mike and Mike in the Mike evening. And Mike. Mike and Mike in the evening. Mike and Mike, Mike in the evening. Right, right. Mike right. and Mike That's in the evening. Right. I got my guys. Man. You got your guys here, man. It's an honor and a pleasure having Thank you guys you. on. Bye-bye. Coach, man, you already know what time Thank it you, is. Man. Thank and, you, uh, man. It's OHSSA playoffs, Friday Night Lights. You can see these guys. Come and check uh, us out. Wildcats. High Camp Stadium is going down. No question. We'll be back in a moment. Uh, OHSA playoff coverage, uh, Wildcat Way Series. Let's go, go Cats. Cats. All right, Coach, uh, real quickly. Uh, you was down 20 at first half. Yeah, you man. guys made it a game. You even got it to about like eight at one point. Yes, sir. What, what did you see in the second half? Well, they just started fighting, man. They started pressuring the ball. They started talking. We started getting deflections. We made it a ball game. We lose about six points. I'm proud of the effort today. Um, so what are, give, me, give me a couple things you're going to work on. Uh, we're going we're gonna to work on front, uh, defending the post for sure and helping the helper. Okay. And uh, getting off to a better start. All right. You know, I, I like, like I said, I like the effort today. Okay. Um, first loss of the preseason, any more games left? No more preseason games. We, uh, we play next uh, November 1st, next Wednesday. And I uh, hope y'all come out and support. All right. Good luck, Coach. I'll start first loss, but uh, spirit and effort, and it was nice vibe in here today. Oh, yeah, man. Nice vibe. Definitely. All right. Congratulations, man. Thank you. <laughs> Coach, um, congratulations on the win. Oh man, you're uh, very kind. Uh, nah. You're <laughs> no, it's you know, early. It's it, early. well, they show they show that they're gonna battle a little bit. Um, but you guys maybe got a little comfortable, or just it's it's it's, it's, it's preseason. So you maybe you never know what you might what a coach might be thinking. Maybe he's tinkering with things. He's playing players that normally he might not play. Um, but I thought it was a scrappy game in the second half. I felt like they tried to make it a scrappy game. They didn't give you guys anything. What did you talk about the second job. half? Um, we got off to a slow start. I mean, we only scored a point in the first five minutes. Yeah. Um, so we gave them opportunity to get back. And that was the difference, the first five minutes. We talked about it at halftime, which we talk about every day. The first five minutes of the second half are the most important. And we allowed them to make that little bit of run, and that was the difference in the game. That was the, We went in up 20. We, won by 12, so that little first eight minute, that little first eight point run yeah. in the first five minutes was a difference in what we see now. Yeah. But we just have to do better. It's, uh, like I said, we got a relatively new squad. Okay. And we just trying to get better, man. Little stuff, discipline. Give me a couple names that you felt like played well for you today, Coach. Uh, or, uh, 
No one. <laughs> no one. Now, what's the expectations for you guys this season? Um, mm -hmm. We look to move up the ladder in SIC. Um, okay. We think we have a solid ball club, and, and we think we'll get better. We just got to keep working. All right, good luck, Coach. Social media, where are you guys at? Thank you. Uh, that's a great question. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll look Central State Athletics. That's what we'll definitely look at. Central State. I'm old. You know, I'm too old for that. <laughs> we got to talk to these young coaches. <laughs> Good. Nice to meet you. We're Good looking forward to uh, – you got a nice squad, man. We're getting there, man. Okay. There. there it is. Right. Thank you, sir. Marauders with 8472 win, man. Make sure you check them out this season. They definitely entertaining. All right. Welcome back here. SC Live 365 Springfield. I'm here at O'Connor's Irish Pub. And uh, it is playoff mode here. And uh, today we have a special guest. Um, this guy, he's doing a lot of big things in the football community, um, and especially with his squad, and especially last year and this year as well. Uh, we have the coach of the year, Coach Bukos, is in the building. Uh, nice to meet you, and I uh, appreciate you. you coming on the show, Coach. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me, guys. All right. Now, um, Northeastern's finest here. Uh, you guys had a great run last year. Talk yep. about the season last year and what you've been able to do this year. Yeah, last year was our uh, first ten and zero in thirty years. Uh, wow! Won our first playoff game in school history last year. So okay. um, had a big senior class. We graduated. So going into this season, we had a lot of new faces, and uh, you know had a big win for, uh, week ten. Uh, beat West Jeff, who was a uh, number one ranked team in Division Six. Uh, that allowed us to host week eleven. So right. um, got us not only into the playoffs but a home game uh, next Friday. Friday night against uh, Greenview so looking forward to that opportunity and mm. our kids have really played well this year that's uh that's what's up um a it was a big year last year but like you said this year you guys are starting to play well yeah. finding your finding your groove and uh you know what's it going to take for you guys to to get the duck you know get to play at home yeah. now because yeah. they added the extra week right right so now six weeks instead of five right now people will get to play at home um what are you? What's the focus going into uh, you know the first first round, coach? You know, a lot of it is just is just worrying about ourselves. You know, I tell kids every week we can't afford to beat the other team and ourselves on a Friday night. So we got to limit turnovers. We got to win the special teams battle um, and can kind of control the line of scrimmage. So our kids have really bought into going one and zero each week. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we we started off the season pretty young in certain positions. Got a sophomore quarterback, sophomore tailback. Um, a lot of returning guys from last year's squad, but not a lot of uh, experience in terms of Friday night guys. So mm -hmm. now that we're getting late in the season, those sophomores are now playing like juniors, those right. juniors are playing like seniors, uh -huh. and our seniors are playing like they don't want the season to end. And that was a big part for us on Friday. That's big. And when the seniors started playing with some vigor and, you know, some enthusiasm, it, uh, it trickle, it's a trickle-down effect no matter for what sure. level that, you know, they are. If they're yeah. – if they're stars, then it doesn't matter. If they're role players, it does not matter. Yep. People see seniors play hard. They, it's a trickle down effect. So Absolutely. That's a, a, a great, um, a great vibe for you, coach, that you've been able to get them to play. But when you go 10 and 0 and you coach of the year and things start to happen, you that's know, right. it's a little bit easier well, for everybody to listen. Right? Yeah, it gets a lot of a lot of new faces out on the program as well, having some success. So no we've got some new faces this year that's really stepped up and played well. All right, now the opponent you're taking on, Greenview. Yep, they're undefeated in in, your, in their division. In Correct. Their yeah, division. In their South Division. Yep. Um, seven and three overall. Uh, what type of team are they, and what do you guys have to limit against them? Well, they've kind of got a quarterback that's a do-it-all guy. Um, I mean, he's going to be their um, – he was their conference player of the year. Okay. Um, so, he's a good runner. He's a good passer. Uh, we played him last year. It was an overtime game. We won 21-20 last year at their place. Oh, wow. Um, they were very similar to us. They had a lot of seniors last year. They yeah. graduated a lot, brought some new faces in. And uh, Coach Haynes over at Greenview has done a fantastic job. And yeah. uh, we know they're going to be physical and they're going to be ready to play. And yeah. um, But so are our guys. So, so we're looking forward to the, the contest. For All right, that's going to be a big one, man. You guys are at home. Yes, we played home we're, seed. That's, we're, we're, right? that's right. That's right. So that went on Friday. Uh, we were the ten seed going in. Yeah. Um, obviously knocked off uh, West uh, West Jefferson, who was undefeated going into the night, uh -huh. and uh, allowed us to take the seven seed. And we're we're undefeated at home this year. So oh, wow. we, our kids like to play at home. So that's, that's uh, a good yeah. Sign they for they hey, they ain't playing around, huh? Yep. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys can do. Um, and, like, when you look at the bracket, Valley View, obviously the number one seed. Yep. Waynesville number two, but Waynesville beat Valley View. That's right. So and that, oh, that makes it interesting as yep. well. Um, if you guys win, 
and another team win. You play Waynesville in the second round. Yeah, and we played them week one last year, week 11 last year in our playoffs. So okay. that was actually our first playoff win as a, as a program last year was against okay. Val- was against uh, Waynesville. So All we're right. at least familiar with them a uh-huh. little bit. Um, so, yeah, definitely taking it one game at a time, but hopefully things kind of work out well for us this year. No question. Number three, Brookville taking on Miami East, Milton Union, Preble Shawnee, and then uh, you guys um, – How's, you know, what's the vibe, what's the energy like with the fans on a Friday night at Northeastern? Well, I tell you, there's, in my opinion, you know, there's nothing better than small high school football. So we're a rural community. South Vienna will shut down on game nights just because everybody's got got kids or grandkids or their alumni. Cousins so yeah, I mean friends. everybody knows everybody, and so right. um, in my opinion, it's the purest uh, you know level of football, and it's something that our kids embrace. And it's a it's a small town atmosphere, but um, I think that win on Friday is going to kind of jumpstart us, hopefully. And having that week eleven playoff game is going to be huge for us, and I think it's going to yeah. be a great atmosphere. Man, to get a get a home game yep. now when those things used to be hard. Yep. Uh, uh, just a couple of years ago, you yep. have to be eight and two, nine and one, <laughs> just to get a home game. Seriously, and now they've switched it a lot for football as far as letting more teams in. Yeah, do you like that that they've added another round? Well, you know, it's one of those things where I think anytime you give a a, ch- a chance for a kid to play another high school football game, it's a good thing. I mean, mm-hmm. I can tell you, my, my my days of playing football. Um, if you told me I could get one more chance to play. I would absolutely take advantage of it. So I think it's great for the kids. Um, everyone's going to have their opinions on it. You know, we just got to play by the rules that the state gives us. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where it's, it's uh, you know, you're getting more teams in. Maybe yeah. not the competition level is going to be as good. But, yeah. again, at the end of the day, most of these kids aren't, aren't going to college and playing, at least yeah. at our level. So if it gives them an extra chance to put on the helmet and shoulder pads one more time, I think that's a great thing. No question about it. Um, it's definitely exciting. And it's warm. Yeah. I mean, it's can't gonna be, be like can't, seven can't beat the weather. Coach. Can't beat the weather. Uh, should be a great one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get to our hot five. Okay. Right, I do a hot five topics where we talk college, NFL, okay. sports. All right. Um, now let's go ahead and get to the college. You watch the Ohio State Penn State game a little bit. Yeah, a little bit on Saturday. Um, do you think Ohio State got what it take to get to the Final Four? Man? I think they've got a championship level defense. You know, it's and defense is gonna get you to get you there. Um, okay. Obviously, you break in a new quarterback and you got some new uh, new threats for them, but uh, they definitely have the all the components. I think of a championship level team. They've been tested early on. Obviously, the Notre Dame game was big. Yeah. Then that was on the road. That was a night game atmosphere. So um, beating Penn State was big for them. So I think they got a, definitely a good shot. Who's the best team in college? You think? Oh right man! Now. Right now it's probably Michigan the way they're okay. playing, even right. though they're stealing signs. But that's all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is, in basketball, if you steal somebody play, nobody ever says anything about. Well, it. in college, but in football, it's like I mean, it's like you. That's really sacred, man. Yeah, it's I a get, sacred I, thing, right? Well, and you, you know, you watch any college game, look at the sideline, and they got bed sheets up. They've got five or six, seven Guys signal callers. So, like, I mean, it, it, they, there's a lot of safeguards in it. So, I, I don't think it's really a, as much of an issue as, as what probably the media is making it out to be. But, the, heck, the way they've played so far and what they brought back, I mean, they, they got a lot of guys to buy into being four- and five-year players. So, I think that they're going to be a, a big test for high State. That's for right. sure. No question. No question. Should be a good one. Should be interesting. Yep. And then you got that, I mean – could they both get in? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it all depends on how they how they play. You know, if it's a yeah. close game, obviously one's going to be left out of the Big Ten championship game. Yeah. So, I, I can definitely happen. Happened last year, obviously. So, we'll see what happens. Who's your NFL team? I'm a Cleveland Browns fan. Who's the best team in that division? <sighs> Man, I mean, I think the Browns have the best – roster um i mean they've got the best defense but you know the ravens are are, are going to be tough every year obviously yeah. the steelers beat the cleve uh beat the browns early in the season so um, that division's kind of up for grabs cincinnati didn't come out playing well but they're the kings of the north for the last two years so yeah. it's kind of theirs to lose in my opinion gonna be a good one man it's yep. gonna be a good one uh philly kansas city who's the better team right now oh man i'd probably say philly I've yeah, I mean, I think that they, they've got a lot. I mean, in the heck, they just added that safety coming in from uh, Tennessee this past week. It's like the rich get richer over yeah, there, you just, know. They, so They are loaded, no Yes, question. they are. Yeah, yeah, they got a lot of dudes. It's going to be good. It's going to be interesting to see what happens as we move forward. Yeah. Uh, Major League uh, Baseball. Yep. Uh, you got Texas. You got Texas. On one side, and you got Arizona on the other. Yeah. Would have never guessed that. Yeah. I at mean, the I, beginning, I almost did, but I was I missed up. You'd be a rich man. Mm, yeah. Right. Yeah. Woo, if you if you put tw- even just 25 on that, yeah. you'd be you, you hitting a 1,000. Yeah. Um, 
you? Who you like in that? You know, I tell you, I like the Diamondbacks. I mean, two years ago, they were almost a hunter lost team. And yeah. you can turn around and they've got some good young pitching. I mean, obviously, you're getting into October baseball and we're still in football, so yeah. I'm kind of in football mode. But yeah. I, I definitely like uh, the way Arizona's playing, that's for sure. I picked Arizona. I mean, I'm thinking Arizona just because nobody's picked. I mean, they win every, won all those games on the road. Yeah. That's yeah, just being incredible. Down, so time. we'll see. They're taking on a good team. Texas is real hot, though. Yep. They're really yep. hot. And they can. They hit, they jack them out the yard for sure. They yeah. they going for big numbers. Um, last but not least, NBA starts today. Okay. Well, it started yesterday. Yeah. They've been killing AD already. Yep. I mean, destroying him. Yep. Uh, do you watch any NBA? I do. Yeah, I actually, uh, I, I really prefer the NBA playoffs um, okay. over over a lot of other sports when it comes into getting to that late June, okay. early June, late May stuff. So okay. um, we'll see. I mean, I think, um, you know, the Bucks are obviously going to be tough. They're yeah. picking up a new addition. So, yeah. Um, and they got Giannis. Sure. Yeah. Yep. And then having Giannis there, it's gonna, they're going to be, they're going to be tough in the East. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, good luck to the Cavs and the Pacers. We'll Absolutely. Be them for sure. Yep. Um, last but not least, Coach, what's it going to take for you guys to get a W on Friday night? Really, we just got to limit our mistakes. I, I truly believe that the team that blocks better, tackles better, and doesn't turn the ball over is going to win more games than they're going to lose. So if we can, can just control um, our mistakes and limit them as much as possible, we're going to come away with the win. All right. It's, a, it's been a pleasure to have you Thank on you, Coach. Sir. Appreciate social media. You. You have social, where, where can we find more? Yeah, we've got uh, Northeastern High School football on Facebook. Um, got a big following on there, so you can check scores, updates, different player personnel uh, from a week-to-week basis on our Facebook page. All right. Honor and a pleasure, awesome. Coach. Yes, sir. Thank coach you. Coach Bucos is in the house and Northeastern ready to go ahead and make that long run, Coach. That's right. Uh, OHSA Playoff Talk. We'll be back here in a moment. Don't go away. Uh, SE Live 365. All right. Wait. Support a good cause. Go Cats. Okay. Support the cause or whatever. Whatever I feel like in the moment. <laughs> All right. Tell me when. Hi, guys. I'm Lily. I'm Alexis. Come out to O'Connor's Tuesday nights for Wildcat Way TV show. Grab a drink. Get some dinner. Support the cause. Go Cats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like that was pretty good. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are here at O'Connor's Irish Pub, and I am here with the one, the only, Northeastern Football Squad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Now, um, I'm going to have them introduce themselves and uh, what grade they're in, what position they play, all right? So we'll start right here. Jonathan Guevara. Outside linebacker and tight end. I'm a senior. All right. Cody look at ball, wide receiver, corner, senior. Ian Cox, safety, senior. Brady Gillum, tackle, defensive end, senior. Yeah, I pass it over uh, Garrett Chadwell, I'm a junior. I play wide receiver and outside linebacker. Right. Carson Albright, senior, and I play right guard. Johnny Jones, I play wide receiver and safety, and I'm a senior. All right, Johnny, we're going to stay with you since you got it. Um, now, we're in the playoffs. You get to play at home. What's it like playing at home at Northeastern? Give me a quick answer. You know, give me some, what's it like? Not quick, but just the what is it like? The, I'm sure it's crazy. I mean, it's like we have a great community that, like, rallies around us every year. I mean, it's just nothing like small town football. It's, it's just a great environment, you know. It's especially now, it's like later in the season. You know, it's dark outside. We can play under the lights. It's just a great environment. Friday night lights, huh? All right. What's it like, man? Honestly, it's, it's great. I mean, Having that whole community around you is absolutely awesome, and just playing under the lights is unlike anything. Now you guys are seven and three. Seven and three. Seven and three. Um, and the team y'all playing is seven and three. Have y'all? You know, I know y'all have done some research. Done some research. Um, what's it gonna take for you guys to get the W? Okay. Honestly, we just need to kind of get our assignments done and just play a full four quarters of football and right. just make sure that we go out and dominate. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, the coaches, you know, they did their part, so we just got to go out and play. I mean, we got to stop the run. They like to the run, so uh, just set the tone on defense and dominate, and we'll win. What's it like playing at Northeastern, man? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, you, like they said, they pretty much summed it up. You, you can't describe it any better than that. Just small-town football, everybody's there. It's hype. It, it, I mean, it's awesome. Um, let me go right here. Uh, what? I know you. I know you hyped up and you're ready to yeah. go. What's you know? What's energy like when you get out when you run run out there and you know? It's house uh, full of fans. It's it's something else. It's it's to the point of being overwhelming. Like 
you just feel something that only football can bring out of you and it it's just electricity man it, it's it's awesome what's it like um, with a small town everybody there that you know everyone that you love and support having them come and support you back on that friday is just it's different great feeling you know um we can our the program hasn't been the best in the past and we're doing something new it's not really jet football so it's just awesome yeah, going from t you know winning 10 last year and then getting back to back you know i know now you know how it is you have to people you know when you do it one time right people are like oh man they did it that one time but when you keep doing it right. mm -hmm. then you start to see more people supporting you right uh, what's the What's it like playing for Northeastern, and what's it going to take for you guys to get that W? Uh, it's great playing for Northeastern. I think it's going to take everybody doing their job. It takes, it's going to take all 11 of us doing our job and our job only. Uh, I think they're beatable. I think we can get it done. Uh, what's it going to take for you to get that done? Uh, we need to do all of our assignments, just play perfect ball, and do what we do. Uh, same as last week. We played hard and fast on defense, and so we just do the same thing this week, and we'll get it done. I'll tape y'all to get that dog, man. Uh, if we're tough and we're physical and we're mean and violent, we'll win, no doubt. <laughs> there it is. That's what, play. What's it gonna take for y'all to get like that? Like he said, we gotta come out, you know, violent. We gotta, we gotta set the tone right off the bat, and you know, just, just, just bury them, put them in the ground, and, and don't let them get up. What's it like playing for this coaching staff, man? I, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, I, I, I yeah, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't ask for any better coaches. I mean, they're all great, all of them. I mean, like they all, they know what they're talking about. They know what they do, and okay. they, they get us ready. You know, they, they put in the time. You know, they, they all work jobs, and then they're putting the time after, and they get us right for the games and uh, yeah. set us up. No question, they, they want y'all to succeed. You know, winning when you start winning is nobody want to go back to losing, man. Yeah, <laughs> nobody want to go back to losing. <laughs> um, now the seniors. All the seniors, who, who, where are my seniors at? Okay, okay, so, and you're a senior? I'm a junior. You're the only junior, okay. Yeah. We're gonna pass this to the seniors real quick. Last, this, you know, you already had senior night, but this is another chance to play at home. Um, could, be the la could be the last home game. Because if, well, you don't know. Oh, you can't host a second one? Oh, so this is the last game. What does it mean? I mean, you just got to take it all in, you know, it's, you, you, you play for four years and, you know, you think it, it's going slow those first couple of years and then now, you know, it's all just, it's, it, it's coming to an end. You just really got to take in, you know, the lights, like I said, all the families and the community coming around us, you know, just really try to slow it down when we're playing, mm -hmm. take it all in and then, you know, not let it distract us at the same time, you know, you got to go, then go uh, crazy. And win, right, know? right, right. <laughs> take it in and then go crazy out there for sure. My seniors, this is a senior question. What's, you know, how's it, how's it gonna feel? How's it gonna feel for you? It's gonna be tough, honestly. I mean, I absolutely love playing these last four years and this last home game is gonna, it's gonna really kill me, honestly. But I think that we should just go make the best out of it and win. What's it gonna take? Uh, senior, I mean, how's it gonna feel for you know? As long as we take it slow and take in every moment and we win, then I'll be happy. As long as we win in my last home game at Northeastern <laughs> High School, <laughs> that's all I want to do is win, baby. All right. Good. You're, you're a senior, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be great. I think uh, the atmosphere there is going to be awesome. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's our last time to set an example for ourselves on our home turf. Um, we just got to come out and be great and enjoy it while it's there. Just like anything that's worth a while in life, you got to cherish every moment at it. And you got to take it in and just live in it. And uh, some great answers. No, uh, and um, senior, senior, you know, you never know in the last one, but just play with reckless abandon and uh, listen to the coaches, and I think you guys will be just fine. Um, Real quickly, hot five topics. I'm just going to have y'all blurt it out, all right? Um, y'all ready for the hot five? Y'all ready? Y'all sure? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Madden or 2K? What y'all playing? Madden. 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 All right. Madden. Madden. Okay. Madden for sure. All right. Uh, college football. Who's the best team in college? Tennessee. 
Tennessee. Tennessee. Tennessee. I don't know now. Go balls, baby. Go balls. Go balls, baby. Go balls. I think it's Michigan. 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 I'm not Ohio State. Florida State. Ohio State. Ohio State. Ohio State. Ohio State's taking over. Uh, we're only a few minutes from down the road. Um, prime, would you go play in Colorado, man? <laughs> no doubt, absolutely. Okay. Um, are you guys? Are we going to college to play football? Raise my hand if we're going to college. Are we going to college? Raise your hand yeah. first. Who's going to college? Football, yes. Just play. I mean, who's just going to college? Okay. Everybody's going to. Y'all, most of y'all going. Okay. Who's going? Who's playing football though? Who wants to play football in college? Well, I'm doing football at track, but I haven't made up my mind yet. Okay. All right. You going to play in college? Uh, I have some interest. In some okay. Okay. Okay, so there's still, you still, so this is a huge game, right? Yeah. Okay, um, NFL, who's your squads? Dolphins. Dolphins, Steelers, Cowboys, Browns. Browns. Brown, okay, we got two Browns. Hey, you're the Bengals. Ben, he's got the Bengals yeah, got and 49ers. Bengals and the 49ers this week. That, that'll be a good one. That will be a good one. Major League, y'all watching any baseball? No. 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 I'm not I didn't a big Puts me to sleep. <laughs> he goes to sleep. Um, this is the last chance for y'all to say something, man. Give, give me something, all right? Uh, I know the fan, you know, you talking to the Northeastern community, all right? Yeah. And give your message for Friday night, all right? Show up. Show up. Be there. Go ahead. You yeah. go first. Go ahead. Be there. Give, no. give your message and you know what's yeah. what's the what's your message to the fans and you know okay what's your vibe what's you know yeah. what will be your mentality going into Friday night? Well, uh, I mean, we, we just got to make it get as many people there as we can. We got to get the you know the whole the whole town, everybody rally around us. They'll be there, yeah. won't they? Oh yeah, the atmosphere, the atmosphere. That's what we need. We just need the uh, then to bring the energy. You know, the fans to be loud and uh, just everybody show up and that'll get us pumped up and we'll be ready to go. One word to describe. Friday. Uh, exciting. exciting. One word. Exciting. <laughs> Probably nerve wracking, honestly. Nerve wracking. Okay. One word and your message to the people. Huge. Huge. Um, exhilarating. Exhilarating. Probably exciting. Exciting. Yeah, I think exciting is a good word. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, man, it's been an honor and pleasure. Uh, Snap, TikTok, or Instagram? <laughs> now for the scouts and the coaches. Twitter, Instagram, or I don't know what. I mean, I, that's all I know is Twitter, Instagram that people follow. Facebook, maybe. Get that Snapchat out of there. No. Brady underscore Gillum on Instagram. All right, all right. you guys have, y'all do have Instagram. Everybody got Instagram. Um, but good luck uh, Friday, man. Uh, it's an honor and pleasure uh, to have you guys on the show. Um, social media, one more time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do y'all know it? I got mine already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what it is? It's just my name, Garrett Chadwell. All right, Garrett Chadwell. Uh, J Jones Jonathan underscore Bar. underscore. Jonathan Gabar. Okay. What was yours? J Jones underscore two. J Jones underscore two. Let's go. Uh, mine's just Albright Carson. Okay, Albright Carson. Mine's Ian Cox underscore underscore five. Ian Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Cody underscore look about six. Man, it's been a pleasure, man. I'm, I'm hoping and praying you guys get that dub, man. OHSA football is in the house. We know it's getting late. Y'all parents like where y'all at. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But um, definitely a pleasure. And I'm, I'm hoping, praying you guys win. Thank you. Y'all win. Thank you. Appreciate it. You already know what time it is. Y'all can come back. Come back. Because if y'all lose, y'all ain't going to – I'm like, no, I ain't coming back. We ain't going to lose. We ain't going to lose. So we in the game so y'all can come back and we can keep chopping it up, okay? Uh, but with that being said, I want to thank – uh, Tina Ramsey, O'Connor's Irish Pub and Grill, uh, for letting us do the show each and every week here. They got good food, man. Next time y'all come, y'all got to come and eat, bro. Yeah. All right, cool? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, 
And last but not least, how y'all feet feeling, man? <laughs> how your feet feeling? Good. Okay, Good. feeling all right? Yeah, well, uh, if they if they not, uh, we got to go to Dr. Richmond Foot and Ankle Clinic, <laughs> right. 1323 West 3rd right. Street, 228-3668. Uh, special thanks to Dr. Richmond uh, for sponsoring the show each and every week. So if y'all got some corns or y'all got something going down, I got you, okay? Uh, with that being said, it's your boy Deion Cash. I'm here with the squad, Northeastern. Uh, special thanks to Coach Doug and Springfield as well. Springfield in the house. They showed up big time today. Uh, we'll catch you after this week one of OHSA playoffs. We're out of here. And they are just cannot put the ball in the basket. Behind the back, he puts it up. Oh! Oh! My beginnings was intense. Who'd have thought I'd go legit? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. We coming blacker than Black Panther 2. Nobody this thorough, that's the truth Never go against the family, that's something you don't do Don't get Eddie Kane, trying to sing your way back in the group Nah, stars in the ceiling, got sun in the building Rep that 718, it's hard to depart from that